Ah, uh, no, not confident against Fiorentina. Don't want Group B. We got Group B. We're in Group B. We're going to play Man City, so think of the money. Welcome back, episode 25 of the NK Marable Save. I'm very, very happy that you could be here with me. We are playing Zenit St. Petersburg. I told you it would be a bit random when we next came back. It's going to be tough. If you missed the last episode, go back and watch it. If you're too lazy, our group is Fiorentina, Zenit, Man City and us. We're going to be fighting out Fiorentina for a UEFA Cup spot. Sorry, Europa League. Bloody hell, that's showing my age. A Europa League spot. Only one more transfer to make you aware of. We signed another youngster building for the future. Tyrone Metcalf came in off a free transfer after my scouts found him. Was at the FFA COE and then got released. They're quite a popular team, but my scout in Australasia or Oceania, whatever they call it, found him and said, yep, he'll be worth a punt. Good potential. Get him in. And those physicals look unbelievable. So that's really good. He was a winger slash striker. I'm retraining him to be an inside forward on the right hand side. So I'm wondering if that's completely got rid of his strikerness that he had. But anyway, yeah, so he's now joined. He's in the youth team. Our under 18s just got smashed 4 0 by Zenit's under 18s, which is wonderful. Anyway, catch you up on where we were before. We had the 2 1 loss to Karabag. Since then, we've played Selge and 1 2 0, and we've played Domzale and 1 2 0. And that's all we've done. So now it's Zenit. In the Champions League Group B. Not much else to discuss, really. I'll see you on the game day screen. Oh, one other thing to discuss. I say that. Jaskovic, our now backup goalkeeper, because we've got Schmeichel, is wanted by Rapid Vienna. And they made a bid for him of 1.8 million. The most I got out of them was 1.8 million, then 7, no, and then 400k after, I don't know, 15 months or something, or 16 months. Uh, and I said no because I think I can get more. He has a hell of a lot of potential, and he has been doing very well for us, and he's only 22, so I do want to sort of keep him in and around the squad. I mean, it was a hell of a profit that I would have got, but I refused it because I think I can get more, slash keep him. And he's not unhappy at the moment, so I might give him a new contract as well, just give him a bit of a pay rise and extend the length of his contract, which means his price will go up even more. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you at kickoff. Champions League, big time. Okay, welcome back. This is how we line up as the away team. Kasper Schmeichel obviously is in goal. Palsic, Klemcic, Kavcic and Janza are the back four. Vahovec sits in hold midfield. Barman and Dak are in the middle. Carlos Gil starts on the right. Sintasau on the left. And Zahovic starts up front. On the left-hand side, it would have been Bade, but he's out for two weeks because he stubbed his toe. He stubbed his toe and he's out for two weeks. That's mental. I've just had a staple taken out of my foot and I'm out for two weeks. Bloody hell, these footballers. Pansies, a lot of them. On the bench, Zan Selar, Frank Lopez, Williams, Bohart, Trogovsky, Kalic and Jaskovic. Zenit line up in what appears to be quite a defensive 4-2-1 and then three up front. Um, yeah, it looks like they've got a wing back at right back. And I know Shatov is good. And then they've got Stojkovic who they bought up front. If their goalkeeper gets injured, they've got number 83 on the bench. Pavel Larkin, he looks pretty, well, I'll say pretty poor. I can't see any of his stats. But it's going to be a tough game. Um, not expecting a win. We're still going to stick with our usual formation because it's been treating us well in the league. And we'll just have to see how we go. I am not going to tell them that. I'm going to tell them calmly. I'm going to give the fans a performance to cheer for. They've travelled to support you. In we go to the game. Going to be tough. It's going to be hard. But, you know... We've beaten Chelsea, so that will live with me forever. And I know that we can take a lot from that performance when we beat Chelsea. And we deserve to be here. We've qualified easily to be here, and we're 1-0 down. Unbelievable. So nine minutes on the clock, and Zenit come down the right. It's a low cross in. That's a really good tackle. Kasper Schmeichel, where have you... He's just wandered off. Just gone for a little walk. Giuliano puts it in an empty net. 1-0 Zenit. And here they come on the attack again. Great interception from Kavacic. Dak picks it up. Great little ball through to Sintasau. Sintasau, he's in. Zahovic is there. And it's 1-1. And we've responded within five minutes of going down. Sintasau's assist is going to be replayed again and again, is what they say. Let's see how good it actually was. Looked like a low cross. Yep, 
just a low cross. More Zahovic's run than anything that created the goal. But there he is. 13th goal in the Champions League this year. Unbelievable statistics. Oh, by the way, Sergio Aguero got top goal scorer in the Champions League last year with 11. So Zahovic has already beaten that. So he could be in for golden boot in the Champions League. Time's ticking down. Only a minute until half time. And there we go. It is 1-1. One, one, which is really, really good. And I'm going to... I can't. Yeah, I'm going to calmly tell them. I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. I'm just going to leave it like that. So I thought that was going a bit quickly. I'll put that back on extended. I don't know why that went to key. I mean, we're actually we bossed the possession a lot. We've had more shots, more on target. Neither teams had a clear cut chance. They've had two half chances. I don't know. Again, how can it say that their goal wasn't a clear cut chance? It was an open net. Anyway, it's 20 minutes to go. And here comes Zenit, and he's in loads of space, and Clinton has... That is a terrible, terrible effort. And they've altered their formation ever so slightly for a 4-2-3-1 wide, so they're going to try and come at us a bit. And Blas Verhoeven has picked up a bit of a knock. He was down to about 55% fitness, but this is Zahovic. Into Barman! He had more time. He had more time to do something better with that. Um, I'm just going to waste some time as we go into the last two minutes. Verhoeven is absolutely dead. I didn't put Holden Field on the bench, so Williams is going to have to go there. Barman can sit at the back for a bit. Let's get fresh legs on left wing back. And Zahovic has his goal, so Franco Lopez can just cut. Actually, no, it won't, because we need the wingers, don't we? Carlos Gill hasn't had a very good game. Bohar can come on for the last couple of minutes. A quick triple substitution, and hopefully we won't cock this up. So Vahovic into Dak. Dak, long ball forward, but ma 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 ma, -ma picks it up and this is going to end in a goal because in football manager you can just sniff a goal hopefully it'll be for us and it's not it's not going to end in a goal because they've given away a foul so that's a poor clearance from Schmeichel and Cochran brings it away looking for Giuliano the goal scorer for Zenit but easy catch for Casper in our net why has he gone long he's not going to be going long he's going to be going short but it could work. Zahovic into Dak. Dak out to Palsic on the right back position. He's oh, looking for Sinter Sal. It's a good header away. Trajovsky in. Zahovic couldn't get there and Clinton clears. And that will probably be all she wrote. But we keep the ball at the moment. Oh, and Clinton's picked it up. Uh, Cochrane, Dizuba, Javi Garcia. It's all Zenit now. And this is a bit worrying. We're giving him a bit too much space. On the overlap into Giuliano. Terrible shot. But it's a block, so it's a corner. Oh, it's frantic. We're 15 seconds over the allotted time. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. We'll take a draw away at Zenit. Don't give them time to take this corner. There's not enough time. There's not enough time. Come on. Come on. There we go. There goes the whistle. We'll take a one all draw away at Zenit. That was awesome. Really happy with that. And we are second in the group with a point. And I think next, actually, is... Fiorentina so if we have a look at that it is Fiorentina so we will we're going to do a Champions League double header on this episode so I'm going to play these three games offline and we'll be back for the Fiorentina game on the 2nd of October again to you it will seem like that hello everybody and we are back for the Fiorentina game and it's been a mixed bag with the games that I played offline so we drew one all with Zenit, then we drew nil nil with Triglav, we went down to nine men, so that actually wasn't too bad. We got knocked out on penalties to MK Domzali. We absolutely dominated them and just couldn't put it away. They bought thirty five fans, we bought four thousand eight hundred and something, twenty eight, twenty something like that. We went two nil up. No we didn't, we went one nil up, one all, two one up, two all. Trigovki got sent off. Um, and then we lost on penalties because Vahovec missed the deciding penalty. Really, really annoying because we uh, we absolutely smashed them. And we've lost our trophy, damn it. Really annoying. We're not going to do the double this year. And poor old Jaskovic, they were going to be the only games that he got time in, was the cup. So should have saved more penalties, shouldn't he? Really. Then just beating Ruda Valenje 2 1. Zahovic and Sintasal getting the goals. Um, they went down to 10 men in the 92nd minute. Yeah, it was much of a muchness, really. Here we are, back for the Fiorentina game. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be tough. We've lost our right back to injury. We've lost one of our centre midfielders to injury. 
So Bakic is out injured, Pausic is out injured, and La is playing in the, well, he wouldn't be on the team anyway, but he plays for the under-18s in the Champions League games. But yes, and teams are starting to sniff around Luka Zahovic again, which is really, really annoying. Sintasau's got people interested in him, Klemcic again has got people interested in him, Jan Zakovic has still got people interested in him, Leicester. So a lot of my players are gaining a bit more reputation, and the bigger clubs are starting to sniff around. But I will see you at the game day screen. Catch you in a bit. Okay, right, for a massive game, this is how we line up. Kasper Schmeichel is in goal. Klemcic is moved to right back because of Pausic's injury, and I don't trust Mika Richards in a game this big. Karic, Kavacic and Janza complete the back four. Verhovec sits in hold midfield. Williams and Dak make the midfield two, with Barman going to the bench. Sintasau on the right, Bade on the left, and Zahovic up top. They're playing a very unexpected 4-4-2 because my scouts said that they'd be playing a similar formation to us. So this is interesting and not what I've set up for. Normally, our formation does well against a 4-4-2, but these guys are obviously better than what we're playing normally. So let's crack on into it. There is potential for this to be our biggest selling game ever. I think our current stands at about 8,000 and there was rumours that 10,000 tickets have been sold for this. So we're just going to have to see how we get on. And straight away, Borja Valero has picked up an injury for them, which will be interesting. They're, they're going to try and keep the ball, similar to how we do, but Dax won it really well. We need Zahovic to have a big game. He's loved this competition so far, but playing like that isn't going to help. And Babacar up front is an absolute monster for Fiorentina. But we're in here, and Klemcic has a bit of space. Zahovic! And he has came up trumps in a massive game. 20th goal of the season already. And five minutes in, we're 1-0 up. First goal of the day in the Champions League. Williams with a lovely ball out to the right. Klemcic in front of the home hands. The stadium looks absolutely packed. And we're 1-0 up and that puts us top of the group at the moment, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh no, and Bradley Dak has picked up an injury. Not what we need. Knee injury as well, so it's probably going to be quite a bad one. Christopher Barman's going to have to come in, who's just signed a new contract to extend his stay by a year. But that's not what we wanted straight away. Kavacic hits a free kick. It's an easy save for Tataransu. But, yeah, not good. Not good news at the moment. But Zahovic, he's become... Oh, he nearly became the su uh, supply, supplier, supplier or provider. But Sintasau with a corner, and it's an easy claim for... Tataran Nusa. Which players had a really easy name to pronounce? It would make life so much easier as a football manager, YouTube creator. Barman. It's been all us at the moment. Williams has a hit from range, but it's bounced to Yanza, who's lost it. And we're slow to react, but Kaucic has picked it up. Good. This is good. That's good, good defending there. But here come Fiorentina again. They're really looking to hit us on the break, and they've split us open. And Valero, he'll put that down to his injury, I'm sure. Barman is tackled by Badelj. Sinta Sal. Brings it in field. Good run there from Sindersal, but he's lost it quite cheaply. And now we're open at the back, and Kalinic is absolutely robbed by Vahovek. He's literally gone into his pocket and picked his wallet out, um, which is just exactly the same that's happened to Zahovic. And Mack is on the right-hand side, and he's going to swing across in, and Kalinic is there. And it's 1-0, and that's a shame, because we've been playing really well. It's their first shot on target, and it's gone in. Thanks, thanks football manager. Uh, Mack with a nice low cross in. Kalinic gets across his man. We have two youngsters at centre-back today, so, you know, not expecting wonderful things. One of them's there to hit the free kick, and it's fallen to the other one. And if we lose this now, there's a massive counter-attack on for Fiorentina. But Jans has got it on the left. Great ball in, looking for Bade, but Mack clears. Vahovec sits in there in front of the back four and intercepts it really well. Wayne's Bade. Janza, back to Williams, Bade, this is lovely football, Zahovic turns, and it's a good save, good save from the Fiorentina goalkeeper, and we're giving them a fight, we, I was going to say we want that third place, but if we can get a win here, it would put us in a good position to qualify from the group, really, I don't want to jump too far ahead and, you know, make stupid insinuations that we're actually going to do well in this group, because it's bloody hard, but it's a good header from Klemcic, and the other thing is, what this is proving to me is that Klemcic is actually a very, very good right back. It is his favoured position. Zahovic is into the box, comes to bar, and he likes a shot from range. It's just gone past the wrong side of the post. It's a bit tense this game. I mean, we're still completely all over them. As we've got it back, Barman in a bit more space. Sintasau, and we're 
starting to waste opportunities and that's gone down as a clear cut chance it's getting close and I think yeah I was just about to say it. they've got a feeling they're going to nick another one totally underserved three shots two on target two goals for Fiorentina I'm not blaming Casper Schmeichel this one seemed like it took a massive deflection yeah it has off the back of I think that's Klemcic's head might even be Vahovec but oh we do not deserve to be losing this no way do we deserve to be losing this 10 shots, 6 on target and 59% of the possession. We have been playing so much better than them. As Barman brings it away, Sintasau. Sahovic, it's a good save from Tatarasuno. Tatarasano. Sintasau. And just as I was saying, we could top the group. We've now gone bottom of the group. Williams. Oh my God, he's rifled it into the top corner. Johnny Williams, where has he pulled that from? It's an immediate reply. And the stroke of half time. Johnny Williams goes the long way round, gets into the box. And then absolutely rifles it into the top corner I mean the keeper should probably do better he probably wasn't expecting it but yeah it's exactly the same as how it started the group it's now we're in sitting in second we are playing really well and I'm, I want to yeah I'm going to tell them I'm going to tell them I'm pleased with how it's going no subs at half time so we've already used one to bring Dak on but generally yeah we're playing quite well as Bedell was just completely hit and Rob's oh my god don't stop it there he was in oh he's offside as it says at the bottom of the screen, Dave, pay attention. Good save from Schmeichel there from uh, Guardado's header. I am wondering when I accept that a 2-2 draw is a good result. Sinter Sal, Asahovic tried to do a little backwards header, get it on target, but it didn't quite work. We've got someone that's having a bad game, but I haven't seen who it is yet. So Barman brings it forward, Zahovic. Zahovic, he's tackled, but Vahovic is there in front of the back four. He's having a great game. Williams, Bade. Can't get there, but he does get there, but then loses it again. Samedo, Douglas, Valero, lovely ball over to Babacar, who's in. Ah, he tried to chip Schmeichel. You won't beat Schmeichel like that. Actually, one of our centre-backs who's having a bad game. I'm going to risk this. This is a big risk. I'm going to bring Trachowski on. And then, is there, yeah, Janza can play slightly better right back. Move Klemcic back into the middle because he's having a good game. I think, I imagine Karacic is getting a bit of a poor rating because Babacar is just absolutely dominating him in the air. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I don't really, I could, I could switch to my more narrow formation, the 4-1-3-2 on the counter. But Sinter Sal with the ball in and Karacic couldn't quite get on the end of it. And they're trying to build quickly from the back now, Fiorentina. And it's coming forward, Guardado, Muro, well read by Klemcic, he's having a good game as well. So Vahovec, right. I hope this just peters out and we eat a bit more time. Barman then comes forward, Sinter Sal, and it's not we're not gonna eat up time. We're going for we're going for another goal, and Zahovic has a shot blocked. It was a long way out, but we'll take the block as Trajovsky tries to find Kavcic at the near post. He's found Bade though, he's been robbed by Mudura, who just hoofs it clear and parties pick this up. Out to Guardado, and there's a don't tell me they're gonna score. Schmeichel with a good save at his near post. I don't think Guardado meant it. Barman hoofs uh, the ball clear after he intercepted a really poor corner. And Vahovic, can, can we counter now? We've got a few men up there now with this. Williams, what can he do? Into Bade. Oh, he had a shot from range. I thought he was going to try and find Zahovac. Right, it's 15 minutes to go and I am going to roll the dice. And we're going to play the 4-1-3-2. And we're going to sit it on counter. And Sinter Sau is going to be the man coming off. I think, oh, I see now, Bade's just really dropped down. Now we're going to keep Sindersau on up front. Bade is going to come off for Takax. Put him in as a ball in field on defend and just see what that does. The fact we've got an injury to one of our key players in the first half, we've actually, I'm really happy with this performance because we have dominated them. We have, and this is two people in our group that we've now dominated. And if we can nick a winner, it would be wonderful. But Williams out to He's got a bit of space on this wing. Look, trying to find Sinter Sal. Williams, Zahovic, Barman, Zahovic. Oh, and he's just put it over the bar. Valera the ball in and it's half cleared. And that's full time. I'll take 2-2. We're still second in the group. Four weeks with the damaged kneecap. So he's going to miss the Man City games. We get a little bit more money. Uh, Johnny Williams, yeah. Had a really good game. Had a really good game. That's how we're going to leave this episode. Um, I'm going to do all of these offline and then we'll come back for the man the second game against man city where we're at home 
and we'll see how we do. What was the crowd for that game? Yeah, 10,000. So that'll be our biggest crowd um, for a game or definitely a Champions League game anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Again, um, a good result, really. Two good results in the Champions League in the group we've got. Zenit and Fiorentina, both draws. Puts us in a decent position to go through. We're going to have to beat one of them to definitely qualify for the Europa League at least. But thanks very much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. I can't remember for the life of me if I asked a question in this one. So who's your favourite team in a different country? And if you've watched to the end and got that question, then... Bravo, well done to you. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will catch you in a bit. I'm out. Cheers.